All right, raise your hands. How many people are familiar with the local food movement? Nice, good stuff. So really, if you aren't familiar with it, what it stands for is a collection of different ideas on how to improve our food system. To start off, it's about taking all these processed foods and, and the fast foods that we eat and reducing them in supply. What's happened is our system has become imbalanced, allowing these foods to become more easily accessed and lower cost than their healthy counterparts. To sustain all this stuff that's going on, we have to resort to high-intensity monocropping. These are those huge, endless fields of corn and soy and other commodity prop crops that require just amazing amounts of fertilizer and drown in pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. I don't want to eat that. But let's talk about cattle a little bit. So instead of feeding them grass, which their stomachs can naturally handle, we're grouping them into thousands of them into these feedlots and feeding them corn. Now, their stomachs can't naturally handle that, so we've invented drugs and other chemicals and other stuff that allows this process to at least continue. But the local food movement is also about removing the middlemen between the farmer and actually your table. Today, the farmer gets less than 12 cents on the dollar for everything that they produce. The local food movement is about increasing the diversity of what we grow in our local area. It's about having the farmer be prideful about what they create. It's about knowing how your food is, is grown, what goes into it, how much work this guy is carrying with all those carrots. But it's about knowing where your food is from. And I really believe, we as Tell Locally really believe, that the solution here is consuming food as much as you can that is grown right in your, right, your backyard. It has great benefits on the health, great benefits on the environment, plus it just tastes darn better. Um, it also is great for the local economy. Now we know creating the connections and doing all this stuff to figure out what's available in your area is difficult to do in our busy modern lives, which is why we created Child Locally. What we've done is we've partnered with a growing number of farmers and ranchers in the area. We built an online marketplace where those ranchers are each week going online, posting what's available for you to discover, browse, and easily buy, just like, I don't know, an Amazon.com or a Craigslist. We are partnering with different farmers markets around the area to create convenient pickup places for you to pick up your orders. We're creating mobile applications that our farmers use in the field to post directly to our website right away. We partner with different restaurants and more restaurants are coming around the road. So if, let's say if you don't feel like cooking that night, go ahead and head out you can still have a good local meal. But really we're about creating a sustainable business that takes into account people, profit, and the planet. We have an awesome team of software engineers a uh, PhD who's done research in local foods, food systems, nutrition, and just an awesome group of volunteers that believe in the cause, believe in how locally, what we're all about. So every day, they're out there helping us with what we're, what we're creating. So we're Chow Locally. Um, find us. We're in the yellow shirts. Talk to us about the local food movement. We're happy to share. Um, we're excited. I mean, the plan here is there's this $600 billion market here where local foods aren't accessed. I want to disrupt that. I want to bring Child Locally there. But, in parting, now, whether you use Child Locally or not, I implore you to at least take the first part of what we talked about. Go out to your farmer's market. Create a connection of your own to a farmer. Go ahead and join a local CSA program. Because each dollar we spend on food is, in a way, catching a vote for how our food system should develop in the future. Everyone here, we really can change the world. One meal at a time.